Rice University, we're advancing the frontiers of wireless networking. We target to exploit new spectrum bands and build next generation prototypes to realize communication that wasn't previously possible. The National Science Foundation and our industry partners such as Cisco and Intel have made this research possible. A key driver of our research is targeting societal impact. We design for underserved populations and under-resourced communities, targeting low-cost wireless networks that can scale to high user densities, high data rates, and high user populations. One of our key innovations have been to show how wireless networks can simultaneously communicate to multiple users. This enables better use of the spectrum and higher bit rates to all the users. For almost 20 years, Technology for All has been working to empower low-income and underserved communities through the tools of technology. Since 2004, we've been working with Rice University in a research relationship, which provides for Rice a research platform in the community, provides for the community that we serve an opportunity to create personal opportunities for folks uh, that might not otherwise have them. Opportunities for education, opportunities for uh, employment, opportunities to take advantage of the technology tools that many of us take for granted. There has to be a way that the physician the care provider in general, the person receiving the care, can be in continuous communication with information flow going not only from the patient to the physician, but also reciprocally. And the only way that that occurs is in an environment of ubiquitous computing. Chronic disease management requires continuous monitoring. The Blue Scale, in conjunction with ubiquitous computing, allows that locus of care to switch from the institution into the home, thus giving the person with chronic disease the power to manage their own illness. This predictive power is the holy grail of chronic disease and home management. Virtually every kid in this country has uh, internet available to them at some level. The fact that it's readily available makes a huge difference because when they walk out into the bigger world, technology is going to be a primary component of every single job that they look into. It'll be a primary component that will accelerate them, that'll give them the opportunity to move forward. Wireless networking is a critical component of smart communities. It creates opportunities for researchers to collaborate with universities, creates opportunities for innovation, for corporations, high-skilled jobs, high-growth startups. It also creates opportunities for residents to connect to smart community services, things like pollution sensors and medical devices. Our ultimate goal is societal impact. Through engineering advances, if we can design low-cost wireless technology, then we can impact the lives of people in underserved and under-resourced communities. Thank you.